Blue Devils have had a lot of different starting lineups yeah. this year due to injuries and COVID protocols, so there's been kind of a cosmic shift at times in these last two months of the year. Tar Heels with their first lead as Littlefield connects. We were here for their one loss at home this season, of course, against NC State, who they took down to the wire. Nice move. With the bounce, Kennedy Todd Williams. Number six right now as well. That's a consideration for the selection committee when talking about and thinking about host sites. How about this run? 13 nothing. It appeared as if there was an exchange of the game ball happening near midcourt. What did you find out, our investigative reporter? <laughs> You didn't see me out of breath running up and down the stairs. First basket of the game for the freshman. She was just 3 of 16 in the first meeting between these two. Certainly has an understanding of the rivalry. So does Kennedy Todd Williams. Sense of urgency for Usby. Hodgson outside a little field. She fell down and she's got a chance for four. Under a minute to go. Usby. Patient finishing traffic. It's a bad move right there. You sit, take a look at the game summary there. Basically, all you need to know is this game becomes a must win to build that resume. Pull inside. Good start for Carolina. The lead swells to 20. See if Deja Kelly can also get hot here in the second half. Knock down a bunch of shots. Well, that'll help. An assist always gets you going no matter what. 42-21, look at the pass to pull, wow. too easy. Two terrific assists by Deja Kelly. Drew Carter, Coach McGraw are in there today. Good run out, a couple of quick scores. But you mentioned it, Duke's gonna have to win the ACC tournament. That's where they are with the resume. These are people you go to class with, you know, they're showing up. Carolina shows up in a big way. 74-46, that ties the fewest amount of points Duke has scored in a game this season.